Sonic the Hedgehog. You all know Sonic. He's one of the most iconic characters in video games, right up there with uh, Mario and Luigi, and uh, of course Tony Hawk. Sonic used to have some great games back in the day, but as soon as it turned to 3D, it all went to shit. With, with great titles like Sonic DX Director's Cut. Apparently you can make a director's cut of a GameCube game now, where everyone's facial animations were turned up 300% by default. Or Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which frankly I loved when I was a kid, but I just played recently, and it's pretty shit. Even in the cutscenes for the game, like in the in the intro in the beginning, the music isn't even synced up to to the graphics and everything. It's all off by just a little bit. Just enough to piss you off. Another nail in Sonic's coffin are all the bizarre storylines that the games have now. Like uh, Sonic Unleashed, where Sonic is a werewolf. Yeah, it's as bad as it sounds. I actually, I rented this game way back when. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. And then they had that game a couple years ago where he was like a knight or it was in medieval times or something like that. I'm not really sure, it looked like shit. Why would you give Sonic a sword? What in God's name makes you think Sonic would be good with the sword? Why? He runs fast. And then more recently they made Sonic Boom, where the game developers looked at Sonic and they said, how can we make this character better? How can we make this game fantastic in every way? What if we gave Sonic a scarf? And then they made Sonic Mania which was actually good. Gee, I wonder why. But then they screwed it up with Sonic Forces, which has three whole dimensions of gameplay and you can create your own furry. Fantastic. But you know, so Sonic hasn't been bad the whole time. He's had some good times, like uh, mainly the Sonic meme. You know this guy? I love that meme. I think it's fucking perfect. I love everything about it. It's, it's the perfect, example of a, of a weird character, a blue hedgehog who can run fast, but drawn by an eight-year-old. Sanic? Ah, beautiful, gorgeous. Make a game about Sanic, okay? Please, I would love to play a game of Sanic. And back in those dark days, they actually made one good Sonic game, and it wasn't even about Sonic, it was about Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. I imagine, imagine Sonic, right? You're going through green hills and all this happy shit, all the happy music and stuff. And then, stop! Let's play a Shadow! What kind of game would Shadow have? Well, what if he's in a burning city, with aliens coming in and destroying the whole place? And then Shadow comes in, on his motorcycle. Yes, we have a fast hedgehog, he needs a motorcycle. That's one thing a, a, a hedgehog needs, is a motorcycle. That doesn't look weird or anything at all. And then what if we made him able to shoot people? Like real human beings. 10 out of 10, baby! I love that game! That game got me through some dark middle school days. Ooh. But still, that was a long time ago. Sonic has been shit ever since. In my opinion, Sonic is dead. He's just a, another blue hedgehog. He's not very relatable or good as a character. He just sucks. Sonic sucks. But I think the Sonic franchise can be renewed with a new main character. One that's not even in any of the other games or one of the other side characters. Let me show you what I'm thinking of. We can make him stronger. Better. Faster. Jumpy-er. Cuter. Sexier. What if we made him human? Yeah, and, uh, gave him some facial hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about a nice hat? Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good, actually. What if we made him wear, uh, maybe red and blue? Some kind of, like, denim, and then maybe, like, a red shirt on, on, underneath him. Yes. And, here we go. Voila, he is perfection. Now he needs a catchy name, something with an M, like um, maybe like Marvin. 